Hi, this is Ian with Sterilized Rotoclave Solutions. Today we're going to be changing the cassette seal in a G4-5000. The G4 and the Classic are the same. First thing we're going to do is remove the cassette. I am placing this on top of the unit. I do have a stat mat on top so I do not scratch the surface. And I'm going to separate the top from the bottom. Next thing I'm going to do is take a small flathead screwdriver and I'm going to want to get behind the seal in one of the corners. So I'm just going to take that and gently without stabbing the seal get on the back side and once you get a corner kind of popped out the rest of the seal should roll all the way out. You do want to inspect and make sure that you do not have rust buildup or anything that could cause issues on the inside. If you do, you can use Scotch-Brite and Barkeeper's Friend or anything non-abrasive to help clean that. I'm actually going to be reinstalling the same seal. First, what I'm going to do is there is a provided lubricant that comes with your new seal. I'm going to take about half this lubricant and pour it into the middle of this tray. Next, what I'm going to do is take my cassette seal. The reason I'm reinstalling this one is this is a brand new seal. I'm going to take two fingers and dip in the lubricant and just go all the way around this seal. Next, what I'm going to do is find in the seal where the two holes in the back are with these square blocks and the nubs. So it goes to the back of the cassette, and I'm just going to gently place this entire cassette seal in there like so. Starting at one of the corners, I'm just going to pop that in and you want to make sure these nubs are touching on either side. We're going to do that on all four corners. Once you have the corners in, it should look something like this. Next I'm going to do is come to my short sides and pop that in. I'm going to go to my long sides. I'm going to start in the middle and just kind of push it into place. If you do get a bubble, you can, this, this seal will slide one way or the other. Last one I'm going to do is take a finger, put it back into that lubricant, and I'm actually putting it between the grooves, and I'm going to run this all the way around, pushing out towards me. And what this helps do is just completes that seal. We're going to do that all the way around. Last thing we're going to do is inspect. We see how this hole is off. So I'm going to come on this back side and push. And it will actually slide into place. Our back holes are good. We're going to check all of our corners, make sure all of our nubs are in place. If they are not, then we are going to slide in, in what direction we need. Last thing we're going to do, put the top back on the bottom. You can wipe this out and we use stat dry to help get rid of that oil, but we'll push this together. You should hear a squishing sound coming from the back of the cassette. If you have any questions or need help installing your cassette seal, please give us a call 704-966-1650, option three for free tech support.